When are you going to start talking again? Talking again? Talking again? Instagram live and if I uh, hopefully that the goal is if, if I get a chance to rip the video and uh, put it on YouTube and all your audio uh, platforms for you guys to uh, to stream or download if you'd like to and if you do uh, while you're there don't forget to give a, a five-star review you can find us on iTunes Spotify iHeartRadio pretty much all those that are available um, also if you're gonna be on YouTube and watching it on YouTube don't forget to subscribe, share with all your friends and family, um, leave a comment, give it a like. It helps with the algorithm, even, even though I may or may not be shadow banned. Who knows? We'll see. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, I guess that's that's about it. So we'll start off real quick. Um, we're going to have our guest uh, this evening. I'm going to send her an invite pretty soon. But our guest this evening is none other than... Rosemary Montoya. She was a previous guest of the show, and she had she's an author of her own uh, book of her biography, uh, where she talks a lot about or she talks about her experience um, in recovery from a really bad car accident, near fatal car accident. So, um, if you guys haven't read the book, uh, there's a certain news. Obviously, if you guys know follow the story, you guys know that she posted. Oh, I'm sorry, it's available on Audible now, so we posted it, and, and you guys will be able to stream it and listen to it on Audible. Narrated by her, but you'll hear more about it once we get her on. Um, uh, real quick, this part of the show is brought to you... Uh, you know what, let me let me pin a comment, because I'm, I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to forget all this stuff. Let me see. I'm going to try to pin this comment here. Oh yeah, I can. Boom. It's pinned. So the guest is Rosemary. Those are her two tags. If you hit more down below, that is the sponsor of the show. And it's, I hope, I always get this wrong. It's uh, Days Custom Design. I hope I pronounced it right. Give me a thumbs up. I know she's watching. Is it Days Custom Designs? Well, check it out. She does some amazing work. Uh, it's like the laser engraving kind of deal. Um, I'm sure she can explain to you guys. Check out her page. Click on it down below. But the thing is that today is the last day to place your order if you would like it in time for Christmas Day. So make sure you guys place your orders in tonight, no later than today. Um, she will um, promise you, I guess you can't say promise, but I said promise. She's going to promise you that your order is going to be ready by Christmas. So make sure you guys click down below. It's right there, pinned. It's Day's uh, Custom Designs. So, she just said it right there. Yes, that's it. Boom. Thank you, Mr. Lou Arriaga. All right. So, without further ado, let me invite Miss... Oh, wait. That's, that's if I want to request someone. So, I guess I can send it this way. No, that's not it either. Uh, invite to join. Here we go. All right. Here we go. SGB Girl. And then we're going to invite the right one she has two she, she has two different instagram so for all you guys out there that are drinking on this lovely monday night salute i'm drinking some mezcal it's called la esclava it's pretty good i got it when i went to mexico city so thank you i did get it right all right here we go i may have sent it to uh her other Instagram. Let's send her a message on it. Let's see. How's everyone doing? You guys have any questions? Go ahead and ask them down below. You guys can submit your questions also. There's a little bubble right there with a the question mark. You guys can submit all your questions down below. Make sure you guys share this live right now if you guys want to get um, some of your friends on here. Uh, bubble bowl. Okay. She was unable to join. Let's try her on her personal one. Invite. 
so many rows. When you type it in, there's so many different roses. So I don't know if I'm sent to the right one. Huh? Oh, there she is. Hi, Rosemary. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. Can Can you see me? Yeah. Um, you can. You can probably, if you like, you can probably crop it up a little bit more. Okay. Or if not, it's up to you. It's up to you. Right. However you want. Is that, you're okay. getting. You're getting a lot of this shot right here. Oh. So unless you want to show some of that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh! See, I see. It was like my head was cut off, and then little, now yeah. I see. You good. see my full head? Yes, I can see your full head. Okay, now. cool. And how, how you doing? Hi, nice to see you. It's been a while, right? Yes. Yeah. How's everything? Everything's good. Everything's good. How about with you? Everything's really good. A lot of new changes going on here uh, at home, and we're just uh, we're getting after it. So it's good. All positive stuff. Yes. That's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. You have to focus on the positive rather than the negative, no matter what life throws at us. And, you know, and once you train yourself to do that, it's, it becomes easier over time. Yes. Because life, life isn't always going to be perfect and always positive, but it's, it's we not. do have a choice on what we can focus on and give most of our attention to and, you know. Right. Not yeah. linger there too long. Yeah. So how, how have you been doing with the whole uh, uh, the pandemic, getting back to the normal? Or if there's any kind of normalcy, I guess, right? Because well, sounds like we're going back to it. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people are back to normal and living the the old school lifestyle. Are you? Would you say that you're back to normal or what? Yeah, you know, uh, we didn't alter our lives too much, but um, but we, we, you know, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, for for sure. Okay, yeah. um, we're um, we're like we're like semi there. We're like you know we're not as there as some people, but we're not as far back as other people. I guess yeah. you would say. Right. So, but I'm anxious and I'm excited and basically you know um, it was it's wonderful to have my audio book finally released and yeah. out working all year on that and. It was very important to me to do the audio and for me to be the one to speak it because as you know, it's my life story and it's so um, I never wanted anyone else to read it. It was always supposed to be me. And I always, I wanted to be able, I wanted to be able to deliver the message that was in my book from, you know, well, it came out from my soul when I wrote it over yeah. for so many years, but I wanted to speak it and I was able to do that and I was able to like um, impersonate, you know, some of my family members and do voices and just really embody the full Rosemary from like, you know, from I don't know, as young as I can remember until today. So I got to tell my own story, which it was wonderful and really cool, you know, and like I have like my dad and like just different some voices, you know, I'll do and I'll do like my dad's voice like it was odd for me from a young perspective when I see him around his homies or his friends. Yeah, yeah. And so I kind of, it was fun, like embodying those characters and, and just giving it all I got. And, and it was, really, yeah. So I had a really fun time um, recording you know, my audio book. You know, uh, when you wrote your book, uh, you obviously had to relive those moments and, and all the moments from your childhood up until, mm -hmm. uh, you know, post accident. Um, was it the same for you? when you were actually doing the audiobook, you know, having to relive everything once over and how was that experience for you? Yes, it was the same. It, it was definitely the same. It, it was different. It was a little more intense, but actually it, it's interesting because when you're writing for so long, I don't know, I would say like maybe 50, 50, but in a totally different way or not a totally different way, but it was just so, it was it was to be able to actually read it it was more intense and more gratifying well, i was almost like gratifying because it was gratifying writing my book it was just different and then in a good way though in a positive way i had a lot of fun and it took a lot of work too it wasn't as easy as just you read it perfectly all the way through and just it's done a lot of people are saying oh yeah you know you just read it and it's you know, and it's basically, it's not going to be so hard, but it was, it took a little bit, it definitely took more work than I thought, because, um, you know, just, I tried to perfect it as much as I could, you know, right. so if there's, there, if there were certain things that didn't sound right, and I wanted to maybe 
redo I could redo certain lines and stuff and um and um you know and then I had and I have to go I had to go through an audio engineer which he was a good one and then um Max was able to um edit it and um so that was great being able to have a boyfriend who is a filmmaker and an editor so he was able to do that and perfect that and I you know just did all my I did all the voices and I well it's my voice but I, when I say voices sometimes I do voices of family members right. but mostly it's my voice and telling my story yeah but I'm glad I'm glad you brought up Max because I'm gonna get back to <laughs> Max in just a few minutes but uh um it's funny because you're just... following him on Facebook but um but like on what's Facebook, weird like we went to high school together I follow him on YouTube I I'm like a Max disciple, not disciple, but I'm a big follower of Max. Disciple, like, like oh my gosh. Not as, oh, I'm, That's I'm a hardcore word. He's, he's going to probably, he's, he's going to freak out. But uh, I do follow him and I do watch a lot of his content and I love it. So, uh, yes, but I, I said, yes. I, I will get back to that, mm -hmm. but I wanted to get at the point of uh, you writing seems like you're more your thoughts to whereas you're reading, is it more of an uh, entertaining thing uh, for you where like, did you see yourself as this is a person that you're reading about, or did you make that connection instantly that this is this about is me? Me, yeah. Okay. It was a hundred percent. It was, it, yeah. It was me. It, I was all in. It was me, and it was so cool because just like when I was, when I spent years writing my book, and I was able to tap into that spiritual source energy. I always, I always felt, you know whatever the all rosemary is speaking through me and I was able to like channel that and that felt really good and everything but when I actually read it it was yeah it was yeah I was just reliving everything but in a spoken version and I know so many people don't even um read books anymore it seems like a, a lot of people are just like you know and I want to I'd rather listen to it or you know we come into that age where audiobooks are just easier for a lot of people so I definitely wanted um, to do it for that reason, and but mostly just my soul wanted to do it because, you know, and it it means a lot to me. And I wanted to even like, like bring out the all the cinematic um, aspects of my book because, you know, I just it was just fun. You know, I've always enjoyed. Um, I don't know. I guess I've always enjoyed reading and public speaking and English was always my favorite language. And my grandma was like an actress um, and she loved acting. So when I was younger, I'd always read monologues with her. So it was just, yeah. it was fun, but yeah, I was definitely able to embody myself and, and bring out like the cinematic um, part of my book. And I'm so excited. And I would just love for anybody out there who um, wants to, hear an inspirational life story and also be entertained. And it's from our hometown, the San Gabriel what? Valley. Gabriel I don't really know of that many books from the San Gabriel Valley, but it, there's a lot of, maybe there is, I just don't know. And there's a lot of um, areas, you know, like when you were saying you were reading, when you read my book the first time, you're like, oh yeah, the Chatterbox or like yeah. certain places you're like, I used to go there a lot. and. Yeah, you definitely start relating to it when you're familiar with the areas. So that that's pretty that was pretty damn cool about the book. Um, but we just never you know you keep never going, ran into each other, me and you. I know. We, I mean, we go out to bars and stuff. Right at the bars, exactly. So in school, of course, at yeah. school, right? We saw each other here and there, but not at the at the bars. Um, and, you know, you you mentioned cinematic. You're the cinematic aspect of your book of your book, and then you also threw in Max. So my question, obviously, before you even you even say it, I would like to ask. Is there any plans of making this kind of a documentary or TV series? I mean, you have everything there, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Everything's there for you to do. And, and so, yes, and, you know, so the whole idea of, you know, from the beginning, it always, it would always, I always imagined it being a movie. And obviously, like, yeah, it could be a documentary, it could be a TV series. And I have... Not Max per se. Max has, helped, has been like, you know, one of the biggest advocates for me and helped me out so much. And um, with, with, you know, my dream and my process with writing it and just you know, always being there for me and then the editing and the audio version and stuff. But like, so I have talked to, I've talked to a few different people over the years in the movie industry. Yeah. And, a, and it seems like there was, it just never... 
um, I just didn't jive completely. Like I didn't really, I guess the, the, the I was going to say the, the contract and, and just certain things, like it just didn't feel right. Yeah. Like certain, um, and then like Max did have lawyer friends too. So I would, um, I would have them look at like the contracts that were sent to me. And it didn't seem like, like the, some people were, or it didn't seem like the two people knew exactly what they were doing and like they wanted to take like a lot of my rights and mm. it was weird they they didn't um like one girl in particular it's obviously she read my book and she loved it and she wanted to like fictionalize it and which i was fine with you know i guess people fictionalize true life stories all the time um and i'm not gonna name names because i know that's not right and um <laughs> but um i remember she it just she, she it was like weird she didn't know like the standard terms like i'm all okay so at the end it's going to say based on the true life story or based on the book san Gabriel valley girl fighting to be me again and like she was or just like or, or something, something like yeah. yeah but it would obviously my name would be in there right. and and she was like well yeah well maybe but we'd have to talk to like if the if the producers if whoever we would pitch it to in the future would agree with that and then like i remember talking to this entertainment lawyer because like you know since max is in the business he basically has friends and he was like that's like a standard you know so so just they didn't know always what they're doing so um i don't know it would be amazing to you know one day come for someone to come along who actually knows what they're doing and it feels right and yeah i feel that i'm not you know i'm getting the right deal too i guess you would say like right at least say it's based on my book for kind of loud <laughs> I'm sure within due time, something like that will occur. I mean, you have the book is out already. It's now out on Audible. It's going to gain a lot of traction. You already have the followers. You have a lot of followers on your Instagram. So with all that, the promotions, doing these podcasts, I, I encourage you to do more of these and get out there um, just to talk and get, get your book out there. And I'm pretty sure I know that on mine that it would, it would, one day I'm going to see that thing on, on TV one day or on my phone, however you're going to stream it. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you look, I know, um, I have it right here again. This, yeah, the, you, and, I, and you're so sweet when you read, you bought and you read the published, the published version. And, um, and, and it was so cool on the, on your story, you put up um, the prologue, or yes. excuse it, me, it, the, the sample, which happens to be the prologue I put yeah. the, of my book. And um, yeah, and so it was, um, it was, yeah, and, you know, it's exciting, and um, I would like to get out there more in the world again. But, yeah, like, we're kind of, like, half and half, so it's, like, yeah. you know, not, but you seem like you're back, and you're just, I, want, I don't want to ask you if you wear your mask, because I don't know if that bothers you, but, like, do you feel comfortable just going into stores and everything? Yeah, uh, I do. I, you know, I do a lot of, uh, a lot of drinking, and uh, when I'm off work, it's a lot of you drinking. You the alcohol. <laughs> so, so that. Yeah, I do a lot of drinking. <laughs> I feel that kills yeah. the virus. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I, I, you know, I'm very comfortable being out there. Uh, I, I do keep my distance. When someone seems like they're a little sick, I, I, I stay, stay away from them. That's yeah. something that I've always kind of done. Uh, mm -hmm. If I if I myself am feeling a little sick, I'll put on a mask yeah. myself, you know, because I don't want to give anybody anything. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I feel really comfortable out there. I'm not, um, yeah, I guess as skittish yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah, as long as as long as you kind of like are trusting your gut instinct and your intuition. Yeah, and, yeah. I still do. I still do have my mask always at at hand's length, just in case I need to throw yeah. it on. So, good, know. good. Yeah. Yeah. But, but and yeah, is that the mask you've always worn? Has it always been that one, like reusable? It's always this one. <laughs> so I, I get the. It's one of those cloth ones. I get to wash it and everything. Yeah, so, I have yeah. a cloth mask too. I I always use just a three ply. Yeah. And then. Uh, well. There you go. Well, I'm I'm glad uh, these these interviews that I'm doing here on live Instagram are a little bit shorter than like the ones I was doing before. Uh, it's more like just to get the point across and. I feel you did. Is there anything that you want to leave, uh, you know, let the listeners know? Because I'm going to, this is going to be available for everybody to view uh, in stream later on on demand, kind of, so to speak. Yeah, um, yes, uh, you know, um, I, I really, um, I really would not only appreciate if um, 
anyone listening out there and anyone, um, or maybe you could tell people what you thought of my book too, but it's, you know, it's a inspirational life story, but there's also a lot more of, um, there's some hard questions stuff in there too because it's part of my childhood and it just all comes together and then of who I am today and how far I've come and just and just you know um and so I I don't want to say I promise you but I feel that um that anybody who wants to be entertained and inspired and odd a bit would I really would love if you would um take a listen or read to my book and um, support me. I'll put it up here again. San Gabriel right. Valley Girl, Fighting to Be Me Again. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, and I would love to know what you think too. And you can yeah. you know, leave a message um, and tell me like if my book inspired you, like I always felt and intended when I wrote it, you know, because there's always a spiritual calling. So it's always nice for people to, they felt that, you know, to know that I was following a soul calling and that someone felt it. It's, yeah. you know, it's, it's, that would be wonderful to. When read. I read, yeah. after I read your book, I told you I read it overnight. Um, Cause I got it really late the night before we were going to record. So I stood up all night reading it. I still, and um, still can't believe that. I, That's it, it was, long. It's long. Well, like what, like seven hours or. Yeah. It was it was like a, a good four and a half hour read. I think it was like a good four and a half hour read. But uh, it was, it was, it was. I mean, I enjoyed it very much. Where as soon as I read it, I thought, okay, this is this could be a movie one day. I know I'm gonna watch it like on Lifetime or something one day. And two, I thought, um, wow, what an amazing person that can overcome all this, you know, and and the change that you did, you know, for yourself. Because you know, from what you were saying, you were just living this world spin of a of a life, just just going crazy, you know, like. And they just kind of did a little 360 or 180, I guess you should say, and just kind of turn it around because you have a new, I guess, aspect in, on, on life, right? Or a perspective on, on life, right? So, you know, it it, teach, it taught me, if I, if I learned anything was to cherish my life, right? Don't take it for granted. Uh, definitely started hugging people a lot more. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is from someone that doesn't really read books. So uh, I, I really enjoyed it. And I guarantee whoever reads this or listens to it is is gonna love it it's gonna enjoy it just as much as i did thank you and yeah i love doing the podcast and um it was great seeing you again and you look great and happy and great seeing you thank you you take you, care all right uh, make you. sure you guys uh follow rose uh rosemary i left everything down i pinned all the comments so you guys can just click away i'll also tag her on the comments down below uh, if you guys are watching this at a later time, uh, you, her book is available on Audible. All you got to do is search San Gabriel Valley Girl, and it'll come up. First yeah. thing that comes up. And the subtitle will come up after that. There you go. <laughs> All right. All right, you guys. Thank you. Everybody take care. Thank you, everyone. Rosemary, you take Thanks care. For watching. Have, a, have a good night. Good night. Thank you very much. Good night. Happy holidays. Thanks. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye. You can go ahead and end it. There you go. Boom, she ended it. All right, you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Just like I promised you guys, very short, quick, to the point. Um, I, 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 you guys, if you know me personally, you know I don't read. And I read that book. Like, I was not lying. I read that thing four and a half hours, stood up all night. It was a great read. I encourage everybody to read it. It gives you just different perspective on life. It actually teaches you to slow the fuck down. Because a lot of you guys out there are living that fast-paced life. And you're thinking that you can get from here to there like that. And it's dangerous. I'll tell you what, it is dangerous. So slow the fuck down. Read that book. And you're going to enjoy that book. I'm not even going to tell you you have to. You're going to enjoy that book if you read it. And if you don't want to read it because you don't have time, you're working, you're driving, listen to it on Audible, you guys. Just download the app. Search San Gabriel Valley Girl. It'll come up. First one that comes up, Audible. Check it out. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you guys check. Click on the on the pin pin comment. Uh, those are all her links, and then my sponsor, uh, Days Custom Designs.